The state's highest court has just set September 5th as the date to hear oral arguments in the case of Robert Newlander. The Onondaga County District Attorney's Office is asking to have the murder conviction reinstated for the once prominent Syracuse area physician. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski has been tracking this case, well, Jeff, for years now. Yep, quite so, literally. What happens yeah, now? Well, what happens now? Yeah, exactly. Well, for the time being, Robert Newlander remains free until at least the Court of Appeals issues a decision. And that could mean a few weeks or probably months after that September hearing. Mr. Newlander, do you have anything to say? Newlander posted the $1 million bail set by an Onondaga County Court judge last July, just two weeks after an appeals court in Rochester overturned his murder conviction. He has been free since, with several restrictions, including not being able to leave Onondaga County without the court's permission. It was by a slim three to two margin the appellate judges last summer granted a new trial for the well known former doctor based on juror misconduct. They ruled text message exchanges by juror number 12 to family and friends during the case deprived Robert Newlander of a fair trial. Now the DA's office is now doing the appealing and asking the Court of Appeals to reverse that lower court decision and reinstate Newlander's 2015 murder conviction. An Onondaga County Court jury found Newlander guilty of killing his wife Leslie at their DeWitt home in September of 2012 and then trying to cover it up to look like she fell in the shower and hit her head. Now, the full panel of seven justices on the Court of Appeals is expected to hear the case almost exactly seven years after Leslie Newlander died. Now, they could choose to reverse the lower court decision, which would send Robert Newlander back to prison. Affirming the lower court decision would leave DA Bill Fitzpatrick with the decision of whether or not to retry Newlander for murdering his wife, Rod. Jeff, thank you. Newlander had served almost three years of his 20 year to life sentence in state prison before his conviction was overturned.